We all encounter waiver issues virtually on a daily basis. In a restaurant, if you order a medium rare steak and it arrives well done, do you eat it? If so, you've waived the condition that specifies the steak's supposed to be medium rare. Waiver is an important concept in the performance of contracts, and waiver decisions often have significant results. In the 1908 case of Clark v. West, the New York Court of Appeals explained how a waiver can occur in contracts that are to be performed over an extended period of time. William Clark agreed to write a book about the law of corporations for John West, founder of West Publishing Company. Clark further agreed to abstain from drinking intoxicating liquor during the course of the project. In exchange, West agreed to pay Clark $6 per page. But if Clark drank liquor during the project, he'd only be paid $2 per page. Over the course of the project, West knew Clark was drinking, but accepted Clark's manuscripts and told Clark he'd received the full $6 per page price. Clark eventually delivered the book and admitted that he'd been drinking while working on it. Therefore, West paid him only $2 per page. Clark sued West, demanding the entire $6 per page. Clark alleged that West knew that Clark had been drinking while working on the book and that West had waived Clark's breach of this condition. In response, West argued that the only way to waive this contractual condition would have been to modify the contract, which would have required a new formal agreement. West sought dismissal of Clark's claim, arguing that Clark had failed to state a cause of action. The trial court denied West's request, but the appellate division reversed and dismissed the case. Clark then appealed to the Court of Appeals, the highest court in New York State.